Thanks, guys. Uh, today, um, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, inspiration. Where does it come from? And uh, how do we receive it? Um, and today, I thought it would be apropos for us to talk a little bit about a great mind in music um, that we lost last week, and um, still hard to talk about it. But uh, I'll share some stories about um, our interactions and, and the impact that he had on me. But I want to play a song that he wrote the lyrics to. And you might not have heard these lyrics exactly this way before um, if you listen to Rush. But this is a, a kind of a solo rendition of the song, and it's all about uh, making use of the time that we have and savoring it. This is called Time Stand Still. I turn my face to the sun, close my eyes, let my defenses down. All those wounds that I can't get unwound. I let my past go too fast. Time to pause. If I could slow it all down, like some captain whose ship rolls the ground, I can wait until the tide comes around. I'm not looking back, but I wanna look around me now. See more of the people and the places that surround me now. A little bit stronger Make each impression A little bit stronger Freeze this motion A little bit longer The innocent slips away The innocent stands You know the one with the with the orange shag rug, and the wood paneling on the wall. That's right. Oh yeah. And uh, you know the, the sofa that was just kind of cast off from the first and second floors, and it's just down there. It's kind of like a little bit too uncomfortable to lay on, but you can sit right on the edge, and that's where we sat on the edge of our seats, me and my friends, listening to the hi-fi stereo, listening to bands like AC/DC and Boston and Yes and Genesis. And, and Rush, and Rush had the, uh, the great artwork on their LPs and the gay fold sleeves, everything to activate the imagination of a teenage boy's mind and uh, take us to another place. And so we went there gladly, you know, we, we, uh, we uh, imagined, you know, the music that was being played and how it, how it would look on stage when it, when it was played. Um, you know, Neil, here, the drummer of Rush, the guy that we just lost, um, he, uh, he was born in Hagersville, not too far from here. He was the oldest uh, boy in his family there, and he, uh, he decided he wanted to be a drummer. He was constantly being uh, scolded by his teachers for drumming on every surface that he could find in the classroom, and uh, he was forced to stay after school to, to drum more on more surfaces, which he didn't mind at all. Um, he joined the band after auditioning, and they, uh, they signed him up right on the spot. Getty and Alex signed him right up on the spot and said, you're our drummer now. 
and um, one of his first records there, Fly By Night. We used to listen to that in the basement all the time. You remember the one, right? Fly by night away from here. And it was always drumming, it was always air drumming. Everything that he did, we would do with our hands. We would imagine that we could air guitar and air drum our way to becoming musicians someday. And for me, that ended up being true. I actually ended up becoming a musician. Um, started, so I started in a basement, air drumming, to Neil Peart. Um, and so I, I write songs, I write melodies, I write rhythms and, and, and harmonies and put them together into songs that's, um, that I release as well. And uh, I've taken a lot of my inspiration about how to put that music together from a drummer. I didn't even play the drums, but this drummer and the way he composed his drum parts, because they weren't just, he wasn't just keeping time for the band. He was coming up with entire symphonies on the drums. And if you ever saw his drum kit, you knew that there was like 72 pieces or something, and he would hit them all, you know, at some point in the concert. And uh, that, that influenced me and made me think like, how can I take what I'm doing as a solo musician and make it sound like a whole band, if possible? So I'm gonna play a song for you right now called The Great Beyond that attempts to do just that. Into the great beyond. You feel the sound of the cars and you know where you are, where you've always been. In a world of space and time, don't you find that it pulls you in? Of heaven that I never had an explanation for. 